wasted on the young Cause it is Remember the adage, it's time to put away childish things? I don't think the reducers ever took that very seriously. For 35 years, the iconic New London band could crank into any of their pub rock anthems, and all of a sudden, you felt 20 years old again and like you were going to live forever. It's just a part of life in the At the Hygienic Art Park in New London Friday night, people from all over filed in to pay respects to Steve Kaiga, 57, the reducer's bass player, who passed away Tuesday after a battle with cancer. Steve was a great guy, and uh, is a great guy, and look at the legacy he's leaving here, this community of people that uh, love him and uh, know what an amazing person he is. Well, she don't What's strange about all that is that if you were dressing up in a monster suit and trick-or-treating or waiting around for a springtime hare to deliver colored eggs, you sort of knew when it was time to not do that anymore. And I can tell you this with some confidence that every member of the Reducers has at one time or another also been a member of this band. She rocks. With the reducers, there was never that spirit. It was always going to happen, and you were always going to feel young, and they would always be here. Whether it was the Sailfest Saturday night show with the fireworks, whether they ended summer at Ocean Beach, or whether it was the Thanksgiving weekend concert, you could count on. Now, in all probability, the reducers as a live unit are done. It's the four of them and would always be the four of them. What does that leave us with? Well, I think Steve Kaika, who was a great man and a wonderful musician and a funny guy, would say, you know what we did for 35 years? We celebrated family, friendship, music, love, community. It's not a bad legacy, and if in fact, it finally did have to come to an end. We still got the music.